What is up everybody? So 700,000 people, well more like 688,000 people to be exact, on the verge of losing their food stamps. Now, under a new policy that President Trump is trying to push, it looks like work eligible adults without dependents are going to lose their ability to be able to get food stamps. So right now you might be wondering like who's going to be affected by this? What does this mean for us? Well, it's going to take effect on April 1st, 2020. This doesn't affect the children, the parents of the children, people over 50, people with disabilities and pregnant women. So you might be wondering, well, like who's gonna be affected by this? Millennials, literally millennials, and a few people from generation X from the generation prior to that, but mostly millennials is who's gonna be affected by this. That's not really surprising considering the fact that the bulk of millennials did not vote for President Trump. I'm not a conspiracy theorist here. That's more of a joke for me to throw out, take with it what you will, but I did find that to be particularly interesting. Now let's do a little bit of a background real quick. So there was an exemption originally that was provided to work eligible people. Now this exemption would allow these people to receive food stamps for three months every three years, potentially longer if the unemployment rate was higher. That's what it originally was. What they're making it sound like was that these individuals are someone who they're not working, they're not trying to find a job and they're consistently receiving food stamps and they're living off of that. Well, that's just not the case. They couldn't even do that if they tried because they would only receive it for three months. The fact that these people are losing the ability to pull themselves up from their bootstraps, quote unquote, in order to better their lives is the problem that we're having right now. So now let's get into the rationale as to why they thought that this was a good idea, they being the Trump administration. According to Sonny Perdue, which I probably butchered his name, but I don't really care. He's the Secretary of Agriculture. This is what he has said. Quote, unemployment is 3.6%, the lowest in 50 years, Perdue said. There are currently more job openings than people to fill them. The response that I would have is what happens when we lose this program and we need it? What happens if there's a recession? What happens if there is a Great Depression? Do we think the conservatives who have been arguing to cut this program for decades now, do we think they're going to give us it back? I don't think so. I don't think you think so. I don't think the majority of people think that we're going to be able to get it back. That is my point here. In addition to that too, why are we not allowing people who are trying to create a better life for themselves able to get this type of assistance? Now you might be thinking, well, hold on a second. What if they're just trying to like, waste their life away and then we're paying for it. Okay, cool. Well, there's probably some bad apples who are doing that. Let's be fair, that is the case. However, I would say that a bulk of Americans, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say that they are actually trying to work. It is true that there are more jobs right now than there are people who are unemployed. However, can you survive off of those jobs? That's a whole nother conversation. I would argue that you cannot. You don't have living wages nowadays with a majority of the jobs. I'm going on like a little side rant, but that's something that we need to consider. Just because they say jobs doesn't mean that we can actually survive off of one job. Also, most of us have to have multiple jobs as well. That's just the fact of the matter. The other question that I have is, why do we think we don't have money to be able to help these people? Because last I checked in 2017, we literally gave the wealthiest 1% a $3 trillion tax cut. So we're able to do that, but we can't help millennials that are mostly millennials who are trying to be able to create a new life for themselves. How does that work out? The rationality isn't there. The fact of the matter is that this is something that is very consistent with the conservative party. I have nothing against conservatives. I have nothing against the conservative people. What I'm saying is that this is something that's been consistently attacked. Trump is entering into that consistency and he is trying to push for this stuff to be ended, stuff being social support. What that tells us is that we, as we expected, as we had always thought, he's very consistent, he's very established. He's an established conservative person. He's not draining the swamp, he's literally adding to that by hurting the people instead of fighting for the working man. That's all I have to say. 